What's up, everybody? Don't forget to subscribe to the World's TV YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of this great content moving forward. What's up guys welcome back to world tv once again i apologize if you hear the fan in the background it is extremely extremely hot in my room and i'm and i'm not trying to sweat my ass off okay so i just want to make a quick video um one don't don't take too much financial advice from me because i'm not a millionaire i will be one day but i'm not there right now um i was watching a lot of videos today at work and a lot of people that i know or know people want to become entrepreneurs. They want to start their own businesses and they want to escape the nine to five job. Here's two things that needs to be said about that. First, for you to escape your nine to five job and start your own business, you have to have good credit, okay? It takes capital to start up a business. Now you could do little side hustles here and there like, you know, selling stuff off Amazon or eBay, things of that nature. If you have good products, you could if you bought them for cheap. You could mark it up, mark up the prices and you could get a good profit in return. But for you to start a legitimate business, you need good capital and you need investors behind it who believe in what you're doing, who believe the product or service and they will back you up financially. That's the number one. And so if you want a good invest or a good amount of money to start up your, your business you need to have good credit so don't have any student loans don't have outstanding credit card bills because when you go to a bank and you say hey listen i'm applying for say you needed two hundred fifty thousand dollars to start a business whether you open in a restaurant sneaker store whatever it could be and they, they will say okay we need your social security your name blah 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 the name of the business they're gonna pull all that type of stuff up Everything is is linked to your social. And when they do, and they see that you owe, what, $70,000 in student loan debt, some of your payments have been, you know, past two, three months, past due. You have about, what, $15,000, $25,000 in credit cards that you need to pay. You're not going to get approved because the bank is looking at a couple things. One, they're looking at your credit score if it's not that good. And two, they're looking at your payment history. Your payment history because if a bank is going to give you that large amount of money they want to know that you will be able to pay that money back to them plus the interest because when you borrow two hundred fifty thousand dollars it's most likely going to be about two hundred seventy five thousand dollars because of the interest so their banks are looking to see can you pay us this money back can you pay us this money back because we don't want that to be in a hassle calling you left and right sending out letters and notices hey you owe us this money your past due on this bill this and that they want to know can you pay us the money back so that's one give yourself good credit pay off anything that you owe money to cut all the bullshit out stop going to clubs stop going to, 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 to parties okay stop spending uh, money on only fans subscribe to these girls only fans okay stop going out on dates with unnecessary girls that don't see you as a future life partner focus on your damn credit if you owe money student loans whatever the case may be credit card fix your credit because with your credit you can buy anything that you want you can take as much money out as you want if you have good credit credit is the way to financial success so get your credit right fix that shit up that's number one and number two People who say, well, I want to start my own business. I want to be the boss. I want to escape the nine to five vicious cycle. Do you know that when you are your own boss, you're on your own entrepreneur, you'll be working way more than nine to five. Hell, you might be working 12 to 16 hour shift a day because guess what? It's your business. You're the boss. So if anything goes wrong, who do you think they're going to go to? You, especially if you are a startup business, a small company that doesn't have a lot of employees. Say if you start a tech business and something goes wrong, you know, tech wise, and you don't have a a, a, a solid staff or IT staff, they're going to go to you. They're going to go to you. It's like, hey, listen, you started this company. You're the boss. We need help fixing this problem. And you're not going to say no. What the fuck you mean you're not going to say no? We need this, this fix or else we're going to lose money. So <laughs> you got to be the one to stay in there and fix it. Same thing if you, another example, you open up a, a gas station and, you know, you have about only two employees right now. You still get more employees. If anything goes wrong at the gas station or somebody calls out out of your two, three employees, guess who have to come in and fill? 
You do. You do. Guess who has to do inventory? You do. Guess who has to make sure the books is right? You do. Let's talk about if you're a startup because you haven't had enough time, enough length, enough capital to hire other employees to take care of those departments for you. So when you are a small business owner in the starting up phase, most of the responsibility will be on you because you are the person who founded the company. So you have to be responsible for everything. So you will be working way more than a nine to five. Most people I know who start up businesses say, hey, I'd be working like 60, sometimes 70 hours a week. Because you're the boss. You're the creator. You're the founder. That's like if you have a kid. You're not all of a sudden just going to leave your kid because you're tired. Your kid needs to be fed at like three o'clock in the morning. Guess who's responsible to feed that kid? You are. <laughs> you got to get up, get the baby some milk or get him some food. Or if you're a mom, you got to breastfeed the, the kid at 3 a.m. You got to do that. That ain't nobody else's kid. That's your kid. That's your baby. Your business is like your baby. If it needs something, you have to go out and get it. That's just for a fact. And it's not a nine to five. It's it's a it more it could be an eight to nine, eight a.m. to nine p.m. eight to ten. It's it's rigorous because that's your thing. That is your baby. That is your project that you're building up. So those are two misconceptions that I just wanted to present to you guys about people who want to become entrepreneurs. One, make sure you have a very, very good credit score. Pay off any debts that you owe or get them down to as little as possible. Make sure you have good payment history. Because the banks or wherever you, or whoever, excuse me, you're borrowing money from will look at that. Because they want to make sure that they're going to get their money back paid. And two, you will be working more than a nine to five in the beginning stages of your business. Because you are the business. Let me know what you guys think about this. Comment down below. Like, share this video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.